What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in the Bronx at Up NYC with the multi platinum Grammy nominated Pusha T. Well, push, what's up, man? Special guest. Yo, LaVoma, <laughs> Special guest. Up NYC. Yes, sir. This is your home. Thank you, sir. I don't think most people know you were born in the Bronx. They don't. Talk they to don't. the people about that. I was definitely born in the Bronx. Gun Hill Road, Tilden Towers. Thanks for having us, Joe. <laughs> Gonna do some sneaker shopping tonight. Gonna see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's gonna buy some sneakers. Of course. Let's go. Pusha, let's start Virginia through and through. I wanna talk like early sneaker habits. I know that you weren't into like shrink wrapping shoes. You and your friends would buy them, scuff them, replace them. Is that a fair assessment? Very true. You know, it, it was always about um, having the newest, the freshest, mm -hmm. but rocking it and like really getting outside with it and showing what you had. Yeah, the whole shrink wrapping and like, you know, just preserving the shoe, like yeah. it didn't work too well because we had to be outside. We had to rock them. And an early favorite Air Max 90s back then? For sure. Yeah. Um, uh, Air Max 90s, I would say uh, Air Pegasus. Okay. Yeah, Classic. Pegasus was like real. It was like a thing for me. Right? And then like one of your infamous double entendres camping out in the corridor. What the fuck you waiting on Jordans for? I'm middle man for 23. Exactly. Just meet me somewhere around Baltimore. Ex Woo! Exactly. Yeah. Never waited in line. <laughs> right, right, you right. You never right. waited in line for sneakers. No. 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 For sure not. And what do you think about like that whole, how it's gotten? Uh, you know, I think it's dope. I think it's dope that like the kids show that much enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. I own three stores actually. Yeah. So yeah, it's pretty. like, you know, I, I watch it. I watch how intense it gets. Man, I, we, we've been ticketed numerous times. For camp outs. Um, like. Yeah, for camp outs mm -hmm. and things like that. But um, I think it adds to the culture. I think it, um, it uh, adds to the uh, fanatic fanaticism if that's the word yeah but um i think it's good and then do you remember like getting your first good pair i know that your parents weren't buying you you had to Yo. like get them like when i was young right i used to always come to new york to shop like okay. we just like we just moved from actually the bronx okay to virginia mm -hmm. and the thing was like to come to new york so my my um, cousins in the south bronx would always go shopping with me and i'd be like i'd be going to get some like whatever was going crazy in Virginia at the time. Let's just say it was Etonics or something. Okay. Right? Was it like A6 too? Like not, it wasn't <laughs> yeah. like Air Force One, right. like here, right? No, 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 for sure. It, yeah. was, uh, it was runners. Okay. You know, Etonics, New Balance, things like that. They'd be like, nah, man, you can't have those. You gotta, you know, get whatever was popping up here at the yeah. time. And I mean, it, it, it was always something different. It yeah. wasn't, back then it was just having what was new and what was fresh and, you know, what had the hype. It wasn't like a, Oh, I'm an only Nike guy, or yeah. I'm an only Adidas guy. It was everything. It was Reebok. It was everything. And you were bringing it back from here. For sure. Pusha, by 2003, you were hitting Japan and going to like Bape anniversary parties. Like, were you seeing samples of Bapesters and bringing them back to the States? What was like that first experience seeing Migos <laughs> designs? The samples were being shipped to Virginia okay. before I even went to Japan. Really? Yeah. How, like Pharrell hook it up or what was it like? Yeah, well, Nigo was a fan of the music. Mm -hmm. So um, of course, him and Pharrell's relationship started off, but he would send the clips and um, just the whole Star Trek movement, um, babes. Just exclusive. Want. Like we'd argue, I remember arguing with family, like, nah, you got those, I wanted those, okay. and that, so on and so forth. Yeah, like he, he, he kept us exclusive. When he left, you know, Pharrell, even on Drink Champ, said he wouldn't wear Bape anymore. Is it the same for you? You won't wear Bape now, yeah. that, he's, now yeah. that he's not there? Yeah, it's done. It's done. Yeah. Okay. I want to shift to kind of like a big deal video. Mm -hmm. We're in Brooklyn, and there's mm -hmm. an infamous behind the scenes <laughs> video, and it's around the time of the Yeezy Ones. And right. you were telling Kanye, I texted, I called, right. I haven't got them yet. Right. But you used to love those shoes. You bought mm -hmm. every single one of them, yep, right? For sure. Now, getting to see him design, you know, we're in front of like yeah. new Yeezys, the slides. Yes. What's it like to now be front and center next to him? Like, oh, you're man. seeing early designs or, or what? Listen, early designs, I'm, I'm, I'm taking whatever's there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no more, like, yeah. no more calling Don. Yeah, like, I ain't gotta easy... call nobody for yeah. nothing now. Um, it's a real tedious process. I do respect the craft a lot. I watch them, like, I, I watch it from sketch. Really? A lot, a lot of times. Hell yeah. 
So uh, is he sketching all the time? Like it, it's not all the time, but I mean, he he's like he'll definitely see something in the shoe, see something wrong with it, and then really go to the pen and pad and be like, no, I want it just like this. And okay. Damn near breaks the pen on the paper. <laughs> <laughs> Very particular. Yeah. And Pharrell, Human Race, yeah. just like the album, split half and half, right. two biggest creatives. <laughs> right. Talk about like, you know, his Adidas line as well. You know, with Pharrell, man, he's always been, to me, he's like the most fashionable person in the industry mm -hmm. because he's the most natural with it. Yeah. Like he wakes up just like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? People don't know that. And then like, you know, I, I, I came up with him, I grew up with him and, I, and he's always had this like, uh, Thing for risk taking in fashion. Mm -hmm. I remember being like in high school, people were like, man, why are you wearing that? Or why he got the all silver RL 2000 coat, mm. real futuristic, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But he always took those risks. So it, it, it makes sense when I when I see him and I see how people look at him and they and they follow him, I'm like, man, this is this is this was destined yeah. because this guy has always been a trendsetter and innovator um, fashion wise. As far as his line goes, from the NERDs to like to Chanel every, Pharrell, yeah, Chanel yeah. Pharrell. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he always keeps it tasteful yeah. and 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 brings whatever he's involved in up to another level. Absolutely. Pusha, your Adidas deal. Was it first potentially like some soccer stuff? It was like a meeting in New Orleans All-Star. Yeah. Where it was like, we need to do something, Yeah, right? they like cornered me. They cornered me downstairs in the lobby and they were like, listen, we gotta do this shoe. We're gonna do a shoe. Mm -hmm. You're gonna do a shoe. I was like, okay, well, if we're gonna do a shoe, this is what I wanna do. You know, I just gave it all of the street nuances I yes. could give it. Yes. And um, from packaging to the crack leather yep. to the uh, to the insole with the Pyrex lines, man, it was a hit. What was crazy it was the EQT, and yeah. there was no pushback from them. No, no, they not just, one. Like, oh, maybe we need to tweak this. Nothing. They let me have my way. Do you think that's super rare? Not like one thousand percent. Yeah. Like. Um, I had a lot of faith in Adidas mm -hmm. after that. Just in the fact that they were like so open to, to my creativity, you know, we, we kept it in line, but they they knew what was up and they was like, you know what, we you wanna talk to the streets? Let's talk to the streets. And they let me do that. And you've had a bunch of collaborations. Where do you stand now? Working on one? Is it like um, I think even Steven on the podcast might have said that you're in yeah, we're contract negotiation. Yeah, is yeah, that true? Yeah, we're actually in contract talks right now. Okay. So, um, you know, we'll see how it pans out, but um, yeah, we've 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 had great times. Okay. Great times over there. And hope to have and have hope more. to have more. A yeah. lot of a lot of history. Yeah. Too much history. Like, <laughs> a lot come of, on. It, doesn't, it doesn't even make sense. A lot, a lot of history. <laughs> a lot of history. Well, we talked about everything. Now's the easy part. Browse the shell, see where you're going to take home. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Good. Push. How's it going, brother? What's up, Angel? How you doing, good, man? Good. Anything we can help you with today? Yeah, man. Um, it was a couple kids outside the whole time I've been doing this interview, Dude. and I just want to grab a few things and lace them. That's a blessing. All right. All right. So let me I get this. You, okay. Let me get these 700s. All right. I got you. I'm a couple joints. These. The small sizes you need, right? Small sizes for All sure. Right. For sure. I got you right now. All you right. Need the sets. I got Let's you, do it. Mm-hmm. Today your total is gonna be 2450. Push. All right. Let's get it. Got you, brother. I'm gonna just insert this and you're gonna be all set. And you're all set, brother. All right, appreciate you. So, Push It came through. Thanks so much for taking the time. Uh, thanks for having me. Diet Coke out now, the I Know Nego album on the way, and of course, your album on the way, coming soon. Believe that. Let's go give these to the kids. Yes, sir. Yeah.